There are those moments suspended in time and space like angels all around. Moments etched in our minds and hearts of experiences that sometimes expose true life. The mundane becomes more real, personal, and amazing. Bravos and applause from the host of heaven join in. Praise and adoration at the opportunity to embrace his spectacular creation and creativity. Such is this slice of life. Here the saga of Martin, Chuck Chuck, and the kids begins. It all started when Chris next door noticed an odd bird on his roof. He is sleepless, shivering in the cold, forlorn and friendless, a lonely bird on a rooftop. We figured we needed a decoy to keep the bird company and attract others. The decoy became a new friend. Okay, this, this is a decoy and Alden, you named this decoy. Chuck Chuck. Why'd you name him Chuck Chuck? <laughs> But it's a good name. Yeah. It's a decoy of the real blue heron that we saw earlier. Um, well, I guess he fell into the tree and got some leaves stuck in his mouth. Yeah. Just so. Well, and with the decoy, you can really see like the blue heron's beak and the black stuff right here. Yeah. And their feathers. Yeah. And. And the filmer got this because um, we were going to for Chris, um, next door neighbor. My dad. My dad. They let us um, use their pool and play and swim with it. So we got this. Real blue heron, kind of popular around here, to thank them for letting us go to their pool. All right, let's go to the pool. Oh, you In that neighborhood, there's a big lake where he, where the blue heron loves to be. And I named him Martin because of. Because the blue heron is blue, and there in Wild Crotch, there's a guy named Martin, and his favorite color is blue. So yeah. I'm gonna go down to the lake now. Hi. Alden, what did you just see? We saw a blue hen flying. Where was he headed? To the lake right there. Okay. He was more headed like to like a little past the lake, maybe at Chris's house. Yeah. Um, but he had a stick in his mouth. Wait, and did? yeah, and um, then and. We didn't catch him on video because, um, like, Alden and I were way ahead of the filmer. Yeah, um, and, um, we don't have phones because we're too young. Yeah. So that's why we didn't catch him on video. What is the message of the great blue heron? According to Indian folklore, those with the medicine of the great blue heron may sit until the rest of us lose patience. And when they follow the promptings of the heart, they are the one of the most magnificent when they choose to soar. This is the message that Blue Heron brings. Birds like kids have their majesty and woo our hearts with their beauty and poetry. Oh, to watch them peck around, wait, catch a fish, then stand up and fly to worlds unknown. thankful we are for their seasons, how we long to be, to belong, and sing their songs. Grateful we are for those slices of life that gives us a taste of eternity. The adventures have begun, and the best is yet to come.